We've been talking a lot about this. October was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we've been sharing info on several topics throughout the month, and now we are in November. And, uh, you know, during all that time, we also learned uh, all about all kinds of cancer and how it affects so many people and uh, really affects a lot of kiddos out there. Did you know each year here in the U.S., nearly 16,000 children are diagnosed with cancer? That means every three minutes, one family somewhere in the world is hearing that devastating diagnosis for their own child. And uh, this is where Camp I Hope comes in. And uh, boy, do they do a lot of good for a lot of kiddos out there. We've got a couple of those kids with us today. We also have have Fu Tran, who is with the Young Texans Against Cancer, uh, joining us to tell us about a fundraiser that's going on that really helps kids to just be kids uh, and, and not worry about the struggle and instead get out there and make some friends, have some fun, and uh, really have a good time. Uh, so thanks for being with us. We've got Sullivan and Sister Hawthorne. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, you're 11, Sullivan. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Um, so like I said, I was diagnosed when I was around five. Mm -hmm on my birthday. Oh, really? Ooh, birthday present. Wow, that's not a great birthday present, but it's gotten better since then. You're now yes. 11, and give us the news. I am now 100% cancer free. That is awesome news. That is great to hear. And uh, you're, you've been cleared to not have to go to the MRIs every six months. Now it's a year. Uh, so that's a big step as well. And really, you can focus more on just living life and having fun and being a kid. And that's what Camp I Hope is all about. Uh, when did you go there? Like I said, about last summer. Last summer. And uh, did you make friends? They say that, you know, you can make friends there that you'll keep for life. Do you think that that happened for you? Definitely. That I made, awesome. like, I don't know how many new friends. Mm -hmm. Let's loop uh, Hawthorne into this. So that's the kind of cool thing about this camp, I think, is that not only is it kids who have dealt with cancer or who are dealing with cancer, but also their siblings. Hawthorne, did you have a blast there? Was it fun? It is. Probably when I go there is the best week of my life. Wow, that's pretty strong. Uh, and you were able to bond with your brother, make some new friends, and, and just I have a lot of fun. I don't bond with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a typical brother and sister, uh, even though they were able to go to the camp there together. Fu, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, I mean, these are just two kids of, of what, 100 or more uh, helped by this camp. Yeah, so it's a great summer camp put on by some great volunteers. and. Basically, these kids get to go for free, and we put on a race every year to help raise the $1,000 that, that it takes to send one kid to camp. And that $1,000 for each kid to go to camp is really, I mean, you think about it, it really is priceless what these kids get out of this. Uh, so the fundraiser is hugely important because this race that's coming up this weekend uh, actually pulls in a huge amount of proceeds for this program to even be in existence. It does. So Young Texans Against Cancer, which is the organization I'm president of, we have this race and essentially raises about 90% of the operational costs for the camp. Mm, that is huge. Uh, and really, what does this do for these kids uh, who've been through so much, may still be going through so much? What do you think that this does for them at well, the heart of it? It gets them out of the four walls of a hospital mm -hmm. and it gets them out there with their siblings, you know, whether or not they're bonding <laughs> every day. They were, actually. They're, uh, they're <laughs> having on. fun out there with them, with their siblings and all the other kids that are out there that they see in a just in a different light. So instead of being in with your medicine in the hospital and the gowns, you get to go outside in the sun and play with toys and play fun camp games and be out in the water in the woods. So. Mm -hmm. I, and we know that there's anecdotal evidence out there, and I'm a big believer about this. When you are smiling and having a good time and enjoying life, that's as good as any medicine. Absolutely. I mean, just look at these guys. So. That's some pretty good <laughs> medicine, wasn't it? The yep. camp. <laughs> Let's put up some info here if you would like to be part of this, uh, because again, this raises 90% of their funds for the entire year. It's going on this Sunday, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Dallas's Trinity Groves. That's right across uh, the big bridge uh, here in downtown Dallas. Very cool spot there. Uh, they're doing the 5K, the 10K run, and the walk right, against, right across the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge there. If you'd like more information, ytrac.org. So, let me keep that good news coming, okay? Hawthorne, bond with your brother. Promise me. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to take a look.